Welcome to the Hudson Farm Club in New Jersey. Home of clay shooting, upland hunting, rifle shooting, and of the gunmaker Griffin and Howe. This place's reputation had made its way across the pond, and I had been looking for an excuse to go for some time. Luckily for me, Longthorn was having an open day there, where they would be doing their first public tests of a new gun. We would have started this video yesterday, but the airline lost our baggage. So we had a, a fairly panicky evening of buying toiletries and going to a Goodwill to buy clothes because, well, we only need them for a couple of days. As I said, American Goodwills are, are, are quite cool. So we woke up this morning at Hudson Farm. I kicked Sash's ass at pool three times, didn't I, Sash? No. Um, and now we're here at Hudson Farm, which was supposed to be the middle of the video, but this is where we're going to kick off today. Longthorn are launching a new gun, so we're going to check that out. We're going to go and have a look at Griffin and Howe, which is where they build some insane custom rifles. Welcome to New Jersey. As you might expect, the hospitality here is first class. As is the decor, for a hunter at least. We've had breakfast, we've seen some gun dogs working, we've had just enough coffee to feel alive. And now it's time to show you something really cool. Let's go find Jim. dissipates the heat really quickly, so even when you've been shooting it quickly, if you look at it, it's cold. So this is a Longthorn. You've seen a few before. This is the 12 gauge steel action, but now available with titanium 28 gauge barrel. We did a whole video on how they developed and built the titanium over and under in 12 gauge, and that was pretty crazy. But this in a 28 with a finned barrel, so you just use your standard full range, your standard action is unbelievable talk about making a gun versatile i need to shoot this more before i talk about it more because it's awesome so i've put 50 shots through this now and i think i can speak with minor authority on at least whether it's good or bad and it's, it's, it's really good. I thought the 12 gauge titanium was pretty cool. This is better. I think a lot of it's because you're using little loads, so the recoil is very different. And also that even less weight out front, it's actually even more wonderful. I suppose in reality, it's just like a single barrel 12 ball with a heavy middle action, which would be like a semi-automatic, you almost semi automatic shoot well. Before we go and shoot a few more stands and then go and have a look around the place, because Hudson Farm's really cool and the long range trap things they've got we met Neil and, you know, I've seen some of his stuff and it's good, but this is probably the coolest sporting clays controller I've had. I shouldn't get excited by sporting clays controllers. Sorry, this is their new top of the range engraving pattern. It's a Valkyrie like mine, but they have engraved it much deeper. So there's a much more relief to it. And then they've inlaid gold on all the flowers. It, it's, it's very nice. You must admit, it's very nice. But action schmaction. This is their 12 gauge action. Believe it or not, this is a 12 gauge over and under action. But where it's so low profile, it actually looks at home with the 28 gauge barrels. Meaning anyone with a trigger plate long thorn could just buy a set of spare barrels and clip them straight on. Overall weight is, um, uh, we take a break from what we're supposed to be talking about. I went off to go and talk about how heavy the barrels are. They're 745 grams or a uh, pound and three eighths. And the instructors here decided that we were gonna shoot a ridiculously hard target. That's what every shooter says. Feels, I should be it hitting feels that. Right. Feels right every time I pull the trigger. I'm sorry, um, I have absolutely no concentration. Or One and a half hours later. <laughs> they said, let's shoot fun targets. So we went and missed some really stupidly big targets. You can order it top first or bottom first. Is that an English thing predominantly? Game shooters will shoot top first, so you can load quicker. Ah. But our guns, if you look at them, they're all sprung open anyway, so that you can always load them anyway, because you get a lot of other Italian guns when you open them, they, they half close, don't they? And you can't get the shell in the bottom barrel. Yeah. So these are always designed, if you if you feel it, it's actually pushed open off the ejectors. So you can always load it. You don't feel really any of that muzzle rise. So that yeah, I want the bottom barrel to stay on it better. You know, it doesn't seem to be much of <laughs> Yeah, that's, so. it doesn't make any, yeah. It makes no difference which barrel you shoot on this. Back on the 28 gauge 
long thorn barrel set for the 12 gauge. These are unbelievable. I love the fin. I love the fact it takes a 12 gauge fore end. I love the fact they can make it in steel that weighs the same. The only thing I don't love is the price tag, which in the grand scheme of things isn't too bad at £23,000 for a spare set of barrel. I say but with a bigger resounding but, ain't no one else can build them and ain't no many guns like this because this is unbelievable. All right, it's lunchtime. We're going to have lunch and then we're going to go and look around because you know, we spent a bit of time in the circle here, which is nice, but apparently they've got 30 stands, they've got an Annie Oakley, they've got flurry areas, they've got a make or break. It'd be rude not to have a look around at a pro shop. Looking forward to going in the pro shop and looking at what I can't afford. But before we check out the gun racks, you need to see this. They even grow all their food here. I, I'm slightly more fascinated by that than the gun making because I've seen a gun making factory before but I've never been around a hydroponic plant setup. I obviously am a gun shop addict so I've come to the Griffin and Howe Pro Shop mostly just to have a look, see what prices are like, see what guns they have in stock. The other tree is a lot more variety than we have back home and a lot more, more different stuff. pair of garbies there. Yeah, it's a pair for 10750 That's not so bad. You see a lot of the price, certainly of English guns, is, is overinflated. Not overinflated, but they're just worth more here because of the lack, well, the, the greater quantity of gun openers and the lower quantity of English best. But for a pair of nice quality garbies, $10,000 is not so bad. Jules Burry of Liège. Arietta's, $18,000. Let's see if we can find something English. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, Wesley. That's very pleasant. $14,000 for a best Wesley box lock. Not as bad as I thought it might be. I suppose the answer is I've seen a lot of very expensive, less good guns. and I'm probably just looking at one rack of guns that are all lovely and the right price. $16,000 for a W Cash War side lock 20 bore. Sub gauges seem to command such an increase in price over here. And I don't really understand it. A Le Beau Coralie, it's 10,000 bucks, but that's had a rechecker at some point. What I really want to show you is three guns in particular. First is this here, it's a Bosis. You know I love a Luciano Bosis, and this is a side-by-side -side variant. It's a country, and it's got a naked woman on it. And that's the only reason I want to share it with you, other than the Bosis is one of my favorite gun makers. Boobies. <laughs> so they're currently in my head, Pac-Man just makes pads, but I've not been exposed to anything like this. This is a wildly, wildly engraved gun. Come have a look. This is an Anderson Wheeler. Don't know much about them other than they made James Bond's gun in Skyfall. The double rifle, pretty cool. This is beautiful. This is an S3 double E one of the prettier Berettas ever made. Not that there are any resounding specialties about it other than it's really, really beautiful, I think. I love the oversized game birds and the oversized dog. Back home, our game scenes are usually a little bit more um, point. It's nice to see something. Look how beautiful that is as a scene. Definitely, you know, Americans have different tastes. They have completely different models of guns, for goodness sake, than we do for the most part. I think that's a shame. I think in a global, beautiful, supportive world where we all love each other, we should be able to have guns that everyone can have. I'm going to finish before maybe we go for a quick wander around, although I feel like this is an entirely separate video in itself. It's a Cosme Super Giro 24. I've shot partridges in Italy with one of these. What a beautiful thing. Yeah, what a lovely, lovely gun. $44,000 of pure love and joy. I still haven't quite figured out why I love them so much, but I do, and that's okay. So after checking out just one gun rack, I was dragged out of there by the team to go and see the rest of the facilities. John, these are bigger than most English houses. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose, but we don't like to get as wet as you. So when the skies open up and we're stuck out here on a lesson, we can jump in here, shoot with a roof over our head. And it's on the edge of, or well, sort of halfway up a banking. So you, I presume we're shooting down for this one? Well, we've got some targets up in the air. We've got some below us, some eye level, some above. You've got some yeah, good terrain here. Yeah. We have 190 machines on the property. The most stands will have sort of five or six traps. Yep, every station has four traps on it. Out here we've got seven. We call this the instructional area. Uh, we do instruct out here, but really this is just a lifesaver if you're out here with a new client. 
Uh, it's it's yes. raining or 20 degrees out and the yeah. wind's blowing. It's uh, a bit of privacy in here as well. Yeah. Someone comes yep. and shoots for the first time. We drove onward around the rest of this amazing facility. All the way from their driven flush stations to their beautifully manicured trap layout. Baby, this is our time. The next Olympic trap champion, 50% shooter of American Paul, trap. He was talking. <laughs> That's nothing unusual. We drove on up the hill to check out their 900 yard rifle range. You put silhouette targets on that and roll them down the track to Driven ball. Yeah. Yeah. As well as their pistol ranges, which were getting a huge update. The effort and the passion it must take to maintain the standards over this much of a footprint is really impressive. After the tour, which made me desperate to come back in the summer, we headed down to the Griffin and Howe gun making department. Baby, this is our time. So we just popped into the workshop here. Is this a workshop or is this a factory? Kind of a mix of both. Because <laughs> this is where they build all of the Griffin and Howe rifles. We make Highlanders here in my hand. So this is going to be a 6.5 Creedmoor proof research carbon fiber barrel, trigger check trigger. And this would be our production hunting rifle. The stock on here was originally a wood stock that we had made by our stock maker and he turned it over to McMillan and they are actually cutting out the stocks for us. That's awesome. How much is one of these? They're around $5,500, six grand or so. So it's quite an affordable rifle. Yes, yeah, so this is more of our production grab and go gun. This is all guaranteed to a half inch group from us. And I will tell you, they shoot. I mean, it's a recipe for success when you put all those things together, right? Mm -hmm. A stock that's actually designed by a stocker because most of the production rifles you're getting are seem to be set up for Pretty open much sight still. Correct. Nothing about them is, is nice. The radiuses are all wrong. Yep. And this beauty of having a workshop where you make mm -hmm. $30,000. And rifles. they are production rifles, but at the same time, we'll ask the person, what is your application? What are you going to use the hunting rifle for? And from there, we can recommend either a caliber or the correct scope to go with it. So the reticle on the inside, our head rifle instructor yep. that I take lessons from here, he would set up your scope and all your dials for when you go out there, you are successful. That is our main goal here as a company. So you have a solid foundation to go out the door. Yeah. It's not just buy a rifle and go figure it out. We do all the steps you to have help a that. long range here. We have the longest private rifle range in New Jersey at 900 yards. There's, there's something nice about getting a production rifle from the same guys that build the best rifles. Mm -hmm. And if you want just one little thing tweaking, you, you can have that tweak to sort of yep. clock that both of these have slightly different actions, clearly for slightly different applications, probably because the customer but wanted something a bit correct. different. Correct. The sky's the limit, though. Whatever you want on a custom rifle, we can do it and yeah. we can build it. It's a similar thing to Longthorn. If you're in America, you can just pop it and actually being able to come and see the guys and meet the guys who built your gun, mm -hmm. especially if you have any problems when you're using it hard, which is what these are for, that's cool. And some of them have been used very hard, yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. We'll bring them back here, we'll retouch them up and send them right back out the door again. Uh, Mr. Garza, we haven't really seen each other all day. No, it's been a very busy day today. It has. I've mostly been off shooting this, which could be the greatest Longthorn ever built. Ever built. By Longthorn. Yes. We didn't buy any of the bits in. No. One of the prettiest, I think, that we've ever done. And we've got some new stuff in there that we've never done before, like a pierce trigger guard with the pierce top lever. I think there's 40 uh, gold flowers in there and they're all 24 karat gold. Yeah. All individually engraved. Beauty aside. Be beside the thing. The 28 gauge titanium. Uh, by far the fun. best thing I've ever shot. Pure fun. Like it yeah. just, it's fun to shoot, it's fun to miss, it's fun to waggle it around. They're pretty special. Yeah. I know that there will be a whole fleet of people, myself included, saying they're completely pointless, but that is the whole point of having nice things. Because if we all wanted to have something that was practical, we'd shoot a pump action or a semi-automatic. A cheap one made of plastic, preferably somewhere like Turkey, <coughs> which makes it extra cheap. Life this. is built around having cool, beautiful things. This is like a Ferrari, and that's a cool thing to do. Well, that was my whirlwind day at Hudson Farm. From here, we drove a fair few hours to our next adventure. The journey filled with conversations about our day, all the kids I was going to sell to fund a set of 28 gauge titanium barrels, 
and of course, talking about some of the awesome people we met. Guys, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you want to support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.